Who will be the next permanent Celtic manager? Ash Postoglu left this morning to join Tottenham. So let's dive in to Sky Bet. Yes, gambling and see who is uh, top dog. And uh, yeah, we're going to start from the bottom, which is your 101 shots. There's no one else here. I seen Addy Hutter and I thought it was something else, beginning with first, first name A, second name H. But uh, yeah, let's dive into it. Tony Mowbray, 101. No bad. Sam Allardyce, I mean, of course, I mean, I'm, I'll try and fly through these reasons, right? Uh, Sam Allardyce, I mean, I had, no, never, but he just got sacked for leads. Robbie the Proddy, no. Peter Bozos, no. Mourinho, no. Jack Ross, no. Dean Smith, mm, no. Conte, no, nah, I feel like Conte's got to go back to Italy. Andrei Shevchenko, no. Adi Hutter, no idea. Steve Bruce, no. Scott Parker, no. Uh, Higgins, no. Paulo Di Canio, no. Lucien Favre, no. Ivan Juric, no. Henrik Larsson, I mean, like, the, the, the position that Ange has left Celtic in, he could be like a former player just wanting a crack at it, but Celtic surely are going to want somebody who's actually managed before and is capable. With Larsson, you know, I, fuck, is, is, I don't even know. Has Larsson even managed the game? Is he a manager? I don't even know. Uh, Damien Duff said there, we've got Bruno Lager, Alex Neil, Slavin Bilic, Sean Maloney, Rico Matusic, uh, Razfan Lizitsu, uh, Patrick Fiera, Fran Alonso, Chris Wilder, A Andres Iniesta. That's so. That's everyone down to 50 to 1. We then have Fencing Company. There's a lot of talk. A lot of Celtic fans would take Company. I think Company's done a really good job at Burnley, but he's in the Premier League. He literally signed a five year deal. That would be wasted money. Paolo Mal Maldini. 50 to 1 again, don't really rate that happening. John Herdman, no. Daniel Farke, man, he's just Norwich for life, isn't he? Roy Keane, of course, there was talk about Roy Keane not so long ago uh, when Lennon got sacked. Um, and then, like, the whole Eddie Hoy. Uh, Rafa Benitez, he was another name linked ages ago. Michael Carrick, no. John Terry, no. Andre Phyllis Boas, he's not going to go. Steve Clark, I'm surprised he's 33 to 1. If I'm being honest, 33 to 1 for. Steve Clark, that's that's no bad though. I don't think he would leave Scotland, but I think if Celtic approached him, like uh, uh, you know, it would spice things up. Uh, Neil Lennon, I'm surprised he's forty three to one. Miguel Angel Sanchez, no idea who he is. Uh, Bo Sevenson, is that the Bodo Glimp one? I'm not too sure. Scott Brown, twenty five to one. It's, I'm surprised that Scott Brown is actually, you know, better odds than the, like Lennon, for example. Uh, we've got. Ralph Hasenhutl, Paul Brito, Martin O'Neill, and Francisco Faroli, all 25 to 1 with Scott Brown. Uh, then we move in to our top dogs, guys. So, this, these, I'll, I'll start breaking them down after Jesse March. So, we've got Kevin Muscat, 20 to 1, John Dal Thomason, 12 to 1, Jesse March, 12 to 1. It looks like Celtic have pulled out of any sort of Jesse March business. I've seen apparent red flags. John Kennedy, um, of course, caretaker and interim manager. He, I mean, technically, right as of right now, John Kennedy is the interim manager. But there's a lot of talk that Ange wants to bring his backroom staff to uh, London. So I don't know, maybe John Kennedy would go. Graham Potter. I feel like Graham Potter wouldn't go to Celtic. I feel like the fact he went from Brighton to Chelsea, he he's probably angling it for another big Premier League job. Because realistically, right, see if Graham Potter goes to Celtic, what's stopping him in, like, November, um, January, or in that time when managers get sacked, moving to, like, a, you know, like a, like a Brentford, like a Brighton. I'm not saying those managers are going to get sacked, but, like, a team that's pushing for Europe, I, I don't think, I think he'd go. I think he'd, I think he'd literally fucking just leave Celtic high and dry. Personally, Davy Moyes, 8-1. Of course, it'd be a return to Celtic, return to Scotland. I could see it happening. Uh, Kittle Nutson, is that the Bodo Glimp manager? I'm not too sure. Must be. Brendan Rodgers, though, at 5 to 2, of course, currently managing no one at the minute. So, again, that is a realistic opportunity. But he seemed to have ruled himself out of it. But if he truly ruled himself out of it, he'd be worse than 5 to 2. And then we have got the favourite, Enzo Mariska, who's a part of the City group. Uh, I believe he's like a Man City assistant manager. I mean, it's worked out all right for Arteta at Arsenal, but is that really who Celtic want to bring in? An assistant? Damn, who knows? But I mean, Pep's assistant's better than 
John Kennedy. So anyway, guys, till next time, there you go. Who will it be? Leave your thoughts down below.